Hey guys, just thought I'd hop on here and do a quick little like update on Zula and kind of, I don't know, maybe like a life update with her. Um, so Zula is a little bit over seven months old now and she's whining over there. Place, we are working on getting her recall really reliable from a distance. So I'm letting her drag long lines, calling her to me. And I'm doing this all in preparation to get her fully off leash so that I can start enjoying just off leash time. It's kind of a, it's a bummer to have to drag a long line everywhere and it gets stuck and I don't have a big backyard. So I would like to get off leash sooner rather than later, but obviously you have to go through all of the steps and make sure that the dog is prepared and that they're ready. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm also working on fading physical cues for a lot of my commands. So like foos and plots and Stewie, all, all that stuff. I'm starting to do less with my body and rely more on my verbal cue. So those are kind of the things that we're doing with her. Uh, we kind of slowed down on going to club a little bit because we had a couple weekends where we were really busy and then gas prices went crazy. So I was like, let's try every other week. So we just went and she did really well. I'm just working on one of the same foundational things and we're working on a pillow, not a little puppy rag, but we've been doing that for a little bit. But yeah, so that's kind of what we're doing. Here's Zula over here on place. And then in that kennel, I, I adopted a little French bulldog that needed a home. And she's very cute. I really like her, but she doesn't have any potty training at all. Never been in a kennel. So that's been a journey because she doesn't care to keep her kennel very clean, which is always like my worst nightmare with dogs. Dogs that are messy in their crates are just, they're a ride, they're fun. I have Zula on a new food. So she was eating Diamond Naturals large puppy, which was not, I'm not gonna say that's like the best food in the world. It's a decent food. Um, it wasn't very high in calories. It was like 300 and something calories a cup. So I was feeding, having to feed her quite a bit to maintain her weight. So now that she's older, I have her on a Nook Shook 3025. You just wanna watch the calcium percentage when you are feeding food that's not specifically for large breed puppies. Sometimes the calcium can be quite high and that's not good for them. Too much calcium can mess with the, the growth of their bones or something like that. Uh, so the Anuk Shuk 3025, I believe it had a max percentage of calcium that was acceptable. So I felt it was time to put her on that and she's really, really liking it. For each cup is like 500-ish calories a cup. So that's a huge difference for us. And I've noticed that I can feed her a little bit less and she's gaining weight. I feel like she's making less of a mess, like she's pooping less. So I'm really happy with it so far. So I can show you guys that. It's a Nook Shook 3025. And then there's the Diamond Naturals that I was feeding her previously. Other thing, I ordered her e-collar, but again, I still have some work I need to do with her, some foundational work. But I will show you her e-collar setup because I get really excited about it. Okay, so right here I have the Easy Educator from Mini Educator. And this is a really good brand. I've had other e-collars from them, but I have never had this version. So I'm excited about this. I'll turn it on. Okay. So that's what it looks like turned on. And it can connect up to two collars, I believe. I think it's just two. So this is the e-collar that came with it, but I had to order this bungee separate and I ordered the wings separate. So I like, first off, I want a pink e-collar cause it's cute. And I like the clip. <clears throat> All of my other collars have just been a buckle, but the clip is really quick and easy and you can set it to the length that you want. So I can trim this excess off, but I just still have it for now. The kind of tips I have on it, I have these winged tips that are really good for dogs with thick or long fur. 
and you don't have to crank your e-collar so tight to get good connection because it it penetrates the fur pretty good so i would definitely recommend you don't go with the standard tips on an e-collar the plastic ones they're just i think they're garbage to be honest so you can get some wing tips or this is my original mini educator collar like just the basic one and on this one i have three quarter inch steel tips and these work pretty good so if you're if you want to go with something more than the than the standard package tips definitely get those and then if these don't work for you very well then get the wings but in general your e-collar needs to be quite snug all right so i did go ahead and connect them already because i'm just wanted to learn how to do all that stuff so <clears throat> i turn on both collars it was actually perfect because this original collar my remote actually like died but my collar still worked and i was like what am i gonna do and so this worked out perfect because this spare collar can connect to this e-collar and i don't have to buy a new remote because this connects to two remotes all right so it's on vibrate right now i don't really train too much with vibrate but that gets that collar and then this that's on a momentary okay so this is do this one's doing momentary stim the other one's on vibrate but i can change all that around when i need to but yeah super cool i'm really excited about it but like as i said i have still some foundational things i need to strengthen a little bit more with her so all in due time but i'm excited for when she gets to be off leash that will be very very fun Oh, and her ears are standing much, much better. I have been posting them and you can see her right ear still has a post in it. It has been working <clears throat> phenomenally. The left one has fallen out and I've left it out because it's standing quite well. And it's always been the right ear that's been the problem ear, to be honest. She was, her ears were still floppy at like six months and she was done teething, so that's kind of a good time to assess whether you need to post up the ears or not. Good girl. Free. Yeah. There's our long line. We're about to go practice some recalls outside, aren't we? Ooh. Oh, you're in the middle. You're in the middle. Yes, you are. There's the French Bulldog. Ooh, your attention whore. Aw, pretty girl. <clears throat> Zula, help me. Zula, help me. Help me. Yes, good job. That's a little task I taught her. Some deep pressure therapy. I say help me and then she comes and runs and sits on my lap. Help me. Yes. Sula. Yes. <laughs> uh. I don't know, what else do you guys want to see? I don't really know what to film, it's been, a, it's been a bit. I'm definitely going to film her journey to conditioning her e-call or recall. So that will be filmed, but I'm still just taking my time with it. I'm not really in a rush. And like I said, still working on my foundations because I like her doing a long line, a really good long line recall from like other dogs and all different environments before I added an e-collar, which I have not really, <clears throat> I'd kind of been slacking on practicing that specifically. So that's why I'm still working on it. So, but when I do get there, I will film it. So to all of you with puppies and you're like, I wanna get them off leash and do recall and get an e-collar recall so I can let them off leash with reliability, 
then make sure you're doing your recall on your long line in all different environments. So make sure that they completely understand the come command before you start to incorporate any collar. And make sure that they can do it at a park, around dogs, around other people. Um, at all these different environments, they need to pass the test and then you know, okay, you can do this everywhere. You know what this means thoroughly. Let's start adding in an e-collar. And obviously they should be, I would say the youngest would be like six months old. If you're doing this on your own, you definitely need to be following along with a guide and do your research first too. So hope that helps. Um, I think that's all I have for you. I, got, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little update. Let me know if there's anything more specific you wanna see and I will do my best to fulfill that. So like and subscribe and thank you guys for watching.